What's up guys? Back at you again with another helpful video for your viewing pleasure. That's right. Pleasure. <clears throat> that felt good. But anyway, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a slow motion effect to your iMovie video. So, real quick, big shout out to my frequent viewers. You already know how we do on the channel. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification for future uploads, and make sure you comment and hit like this video if it was helpful. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into iMovie and get this bad boy started. So here, I already have a video laid out for us, just to make things move a little quickly. So, uh, just to give you a taste, here's what it is. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So let's say we want the center video here to be slow motion, right? So what we're going to do is just find a good space or spot for us to start that slow motion effect for this video, uh, which can kind of give it a more of a cinematic feel or really just helping you get your point across in whatever type of video you're making. So here we're going to split the video, uh, you know, right in the back and then somewhere right here. Let's give that a try. One more time for good luck. There we go. So then we're going to select that video, go up to the speed selection, click that bad boy. Then it's going to be our speed control. Click slow. And we're going to go with 10% starting off. So let's see how that kind of plays out if that has a good feel. <laughs> Not bad. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do a slow motion. But if you're wanting to kind of play around with it and, and get a little bit more creative, you could always mix it up and do a little Ken Burns to it. Uh, kind of gives it that zoom in, pan kind of feel. Let's check that out. Not bad. Now, if you want that back video to match up, you can kind of do the same thing with the Ken Burns effect. Obviously, it's zooming in. It's it's ending at the end of the video and kind of zoomed in. So you want to just reverse that, have it in in widescreen and start uh, pretty zoomed in at the end of where the rows are. And let's give that a look. <laughs> Not too shabby, not too shabby. Still a good looking sandwich though. Um, and that was just a really quick tutorial just to kind of give you guys a feel, answer a couple questions on how to add that slow motion effect to your iMovie video. If this was very helpful, make sure you hit that like button, comment below, and we'll see you next time.